Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube thumbnail with Canva. Canva is going to be the platform I'm going to start talking about a little more. What's great about them is that they are free to use. They do have an upgrade if you want to utilize them, but there's a lot of cool stuff that you can utilize for free for your online marketing, for anything that's presentations, social media related, and so on and so forth. I will put a link down below in case you want to follow along. Like I said, they are free to sign up and do what I'm going to be showing you. So when you get to the homepage here, we're going to search for YouTube thumbnail. I have it right here. So uh, if you type in something like that, let's just click here. And what this is going to do is show us a variety of templates that we can utilize. A lot of them are going to be free. Some of them are going to be paid and some are going to be, you know, with the upgrade. As you can see, the ones that don't have like a money sign here or the one that don't have pro, uh, anyone like this or plenty of the others you can utilize. So the idea here is even though a lot of these look pretty simple, the thing I love about them is that there's a lot of templates. I think I mentioned that with any software I go over, landing pages, sales funnels, uh, AI content writers. The idea here is to pick one that's similar to the vibe that you want to give off in your thumbnail, or maybe that has similar colors. Or like for me, what I'm going to be doing is utilizing my picture. So I'm looking for something where I can just replace my picture in the text and I'll be done. Doing that is going to be very quick. And uh, that's why I like templates so much, but kind of quickly scrolling through. I'm looking for one that I want to use. I've made quite a few on this. There's plenty of ways to create thumbnails that I know of. This is just one of them, depending on the channel that I'm utilizing. But give me a second. I'm just scrolling through and then I'm going to pick one. And this one looks good. Product review. I like it because the picture is small and there's opportunity to like put one in there and make it much bigger. So I'm going to go with this. Okay, so let's close that out. So what I want to do is just delete this here. This is going to be the picture. In case you're not familiar with Canva, it's very easy to use. It's pretty much click on what you want to edit and then edit it. Like you can make this bigger or smaller if you want. But uh, I have my own picture here. Normally what you would do is upload it. So if I go to uploads, I should have some pictures here that I've already uploaded before. So what I'm going to do is drag my picture in here and I can make it much bigger. The idea here too is if you use any picture of you, make sure it's a PNG where it's transparent. Like what I did is normally there was no wall behind me, but I took that out. So this will look good based upon any background. Like there's not gonna be any filler. I do wanna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, really depends on how big you wanna make it. Under Armour, you're welcome for the free endorsement. Okay, so we have some shapes here. I mean, that doesn't look bad. This can probably get out of the way, but I'll create this with the idea that this is going to be used for the actual thumbnail of this video. So really depends on what you want to write here and how you want to go. Usually I'll put, if you've seen my other thumbnails, they're pretty simple. Uh, I'll put the main thing that I'm talking about and then what specifically the video is about. So Canva and like you could just put something like YouTube thumbnail. This isn't really a master class on YouTube thumbnails. Uh, I've taken classes like that. It might not look like it based upon my previous ones, but uh, I'm not as big on thumbnails as I am about actual content. I know when you put the right content out there, a lot of times it will get work to where you want to go. I know that sounds like hope marketing, but there's a lot more behind it than that. But I'll talk about that in another video sometime. I do want to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, this as well. I will be revamping all of my thumbnails soon anyway, so you'll get to see those when they're done. Uh, YouTube thumbnail, something like that. I do like adding arrows sometimes. Uh, depends on the channel and what I'm looking for. I know like a lot of the viral videos are huge with arrows where like directing your eyes to a specific spot. I'm more about me, the brand, and talking exactly about what someone's searching for. So um, I have a different intent in terms of what, I, what I'm looking for. So just kind of throwing that out there. Uh, we can turn it like this really wherever you want it to go. I know arrows are popular, uh, red circles. What I did for that is search for a free arrow. You know, there's plenty of sites that are free. Make sure they're actual free and you're not like taking something you shouldn't. You know, you can make them sometimes too, but Canva YouTube thumbnail where that's kind of, you know, right in the spot where it needs to be. You could also, you know, change this around if you want to put it there, there, there. Really up to you, you know, if you want to get into the graphic designer mode. But I mean, something simple like that, uh, how long did that take? I can't see how long this video has been, but it's pretty much coming to an end right there. You know, I think that looks fine. The, the biggest thing you're going to need here is just if you're using a picture of yourself, most likely, you know, if you shot a video of yourself, you could always just take some type of like screenshot, remove the background and go from there. Uh, but that's going to be up to you. Like I said, I talk about the main thing here. This video is about using Canva to create a YouTube thumbnail. And that's pretty much what someone's searching for and also what it's showing right here to represent, hey, this is what you're asking for. This is what you're getting. And of course, when you go to save it, you would go to the share button. 
and you go to download and you can pick any of these here, whether it's going to be PNG, JPEG. Uh, I'd recommend PNG because it's going to be the best for complex images and so on and so forth. Uh, if you want to do any type of PNGs is going to be up to you. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's how you can very quickly create a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. Canva is a uh, quite the cool, I don't know if you call it software. I mean, in the cloud, I guess you could call it software. There's a lot of uh, cool things you can do with it, not only when it comes to design, but design and marketing as well. I've been using them for a long time. I just created a new account just to, you know, showcase more stuff on this because I use them for my other channels as well when it comes to YouTube thumbnails. But I think that pretty much explains it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also have a link to Canva. You can check them out. They do come with a free plan where you can actually do exactly what I showed you in this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.